Ramsey is definitely a, a, a backdrop uh, to the workshop, but what we would like to do is, uh, is sort of go a little beyond uh, Ramsey and to look at broader transitions that have been taking place in Solomon Islands for a, a good many years now, um, and some more recent ones, um, and to try and get people sort of focused on these larger uh, issues of structural change and, and globalisation. Uh, and how they might play out in, in Solomon Islands' future. For example, we're um, very um, interested in the transitions that are happening in the Solomon Islands economy at the moment. Um, and one of the most significant uh, transitions is the um, end of uh, or demise of commercial logging um, and the move towards a mining economy. Um, what's that going to mean for Solomon Islands as it moves ahead? Um, we have lots of uh, issues around mining uh, in places like Papua New Guinea, not too far away. Um, and we're aware that mining can be both uh, a provider of great benefits and great promise, but it also comes with, with considerable risks. Um, and we, we have issues around resource curse and, and so forth. We also have, uh, I think, important things happening in the, in the area of, uh, of politics. Uh, we have an election coming up fairly soon. Um, in Solomon Islands, we also, I think, have uh, issues around decentralisation um, and still uh, quite a lot of grievance, I think, in provincial areas about the um, absence or, or poor quality of, of government services. So the real challenge is there about um, extending the functional authority of the state uh, and, and its ability to provide services for what is overwhelmingly a rural-based uh, population.